Welcome everybody to XCW Summer Brawl Night 1. I am your host, James Stevenson, and if you don't know, NXT is going to be taking over in the next few days. Thanks to what happened recently on NXG with everybody trying to sabotage from my, my headset not working to it being lowered to the attacks to all of a sudden all the roster members showing up from the main roster. There's going to be serious consequences tonight. Just believe that. But we're going to start off Summer Brawl the, the way we should. You know, it's, it's summertime. We're supposed to be having fun. Kids are about to get ready to go back to school if they're not already back in school. Um, Tonight, we're going to see Barry go up against Cam Hardy again. But I, I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's for the title. I don't know if Barry even wants the title. He just said he wants to make Cam Hardy lose all of his joy all of his happiness I, I don't even know but let's start the show off here we go introducing first he is MC Fly my guy Maxfly I don't know why I did it like that, but every single time I see him, it's gonna get weirder and weirder. Just know that. On night one, we don't have much planned. It's gonna be mainly the main rosters episode. I'll take over later on. You know, I can't steal all the spotlight. We already do that weekly. McFly. Last week, picking up a huge victory over Evan Torres. Torres not very happy with that. And, um, he was, uh, he, he interfered in the main event, which was Drake Stevenson versus Mason. And he lost. And then he said he was going to show up to NXG. He made the smart decision by not. But then he called out McFly on Twitter, and he got his way. McFly ready for action. Coming out next. We have the one and only. There he is. Devin Torres coming out. Doesn't seem as angry as he was before, clearly. Torres. Right now. I don't know. Torres came back. New look. <laughs> and, uh. Obviously. It didn't work out in his favor when he came down to the wrestling ladies and gentlemen the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal this crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match and they have a sat down Devin looking to get his retribution tonight hoping that he can avenge his loss to McFly last week why not return with an attack or something Taking his time, his second summer brawl, I believe. They're all the same person. I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me on that. Me. Torres ready for action. There are only three, and technically there are only two now. Here we go. No, I got rid of the US and the IC title. Oh wait, hold on, let me get out of the ring. Make sure everybody's ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you are are you ready? Alright. Ding 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 gloom. Ding 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 gloom. That's the impact. 
McFly starting off with a nice basement dropkick, takes out the knees. Torres with a reverse Irish whip over the top rope, goes McFly, hangs on, gets hot shot, stunnered. Torres already taunting. Goes for a cross body, does not connect. McFly now picks him up, tosses him right back in the ring. I'm walking toward them with the ladder, sets it up, I guess, that's fine. Big jumping knee. Yeah, I'm not okay with where I was in the ladder. McFly, nice famouser. Connects on the Torres. Right now, it seems like McFly's going to have Torres' this number again. Irish Whip. Nope. Gets hit with a stun gun. McFly. Irish Whips him off the ropes. Goes down. Nope. Gets caught with a gut wrench suplex from Torres. Torres now. Repeated stomps. And a jumping elbow to follow. Goes for a kick. Misses. Counter after counter right now, and a throwback connects. Torres now punch a second, a third, a fourth, and he continues with the grounded strikes. McFly rolls out, gets back in, and gets caught and tossed into a nice inverted DDT from Torres. McFly, nice shoulder tackle, takes down the big guy. Drop kick takes out the knee. Oh, McFly with the Tour of the Islands type maneuver one. Only gets a one count on Torres. Kick to the back, misses. Counter after counter, here we go again. McFly tries to turn him around, gets caught. Cutter! The Devil's Hammer, or whatever he's calling it, connects on McFly one. Torres had to think that would have put the match away, but you gotta think it's too early in this matchup. Big punch. Torres now sets that table up in the corner. Stomp. Uh oh. Dragon neck fly to the center. Well, almost to the center of the star. Big strike knocks him down again. McFly's going to have to get himself back into this match. Torres has evil intentions. Why isn't he going at the ladder? I mean, the table. Why don't I always do that? Uh oh, McFly, kick after kick after kick. Oh, only a four-piece. McFly's going to have to use his speed. A spear! Torres for the match. One kick out. Oh, Torres with another big hammer strike. McFly thought he was going to get up. He gets rolled up. Victory Road Jackknife. One. Two, kick out. McFly, flying forearm smash. Atomic drop gets countered. This time he connects. McFly attempted a huge moonsault right there. That's why it's called high risk. You never know if you're going to connect or not. Now he just bounces off of that table. McFly in danger. Torres tosses him into the table again. McFly, big counter. Tosses Torres. Spear through the table. What now is McFly thinking about? Oh no. The Headlock driver connects is that match. Torres in danger. One, two, oh no, just a one count. Okay. McFly big kick to the gut and Torres punches him. But doesn't take advantage. Seems like he's getting weak. Overhead belly to belly connects. Torres rolls out to the apron. McFly following. Hops down, takes him off the apron, and a drop kick connects as well. Having to get off my ladder, don't like doing that.
Torres has McFly one head but a second and the trifecta connects big kick and a spear from McFly uh oh McFly said he's ready he's standing it up the headlock driver again planting Torres right on the top of his head one Two, kick out again by Torres. He's determined to win this matchup. Over the top. Big forearm. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free for all. That tore the islands again. One, two. That could have been match. Torres could have lost. Oh, no. McFly again with that series of kicks to the chest of Devin Torres followed by the roundhouse McFly telling Torres get up this is it cut her out of nowhere for the match one two three no big hip Toss knee strike. That was just a hip knee strike type maneuver. That's crazy. Uh, McFly gets that sidewalk slam, gets a two count. Torres almost losing the match right then and there. Uh oh, McFly. Torres again getting a strike off, but not being able to take the advantage. Gets suplex tossed. What is McFly thinking about now? This could mean trouble. Into the corner. McFly following right behind him. Wow, he's going after the arm of Devin Torres. Let's it go, but what now? Torres holding his arm. Bouncing to each other. Another Irish whip into the corner. Drop kick. Who is he drop kicking? Dodges a bullet there. Big boot. Oh, Torres has McFly up. Side winder suplex. McFly, basement drop kick takes out the knee of Torres. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, for the fourth time tonight, we've seen this exact same move. You love to see it. And out of nowhere, the headlock driver directly in the center of the star. One, two, three, no. Torres kicks out again. He wants to beat McFly. Big club to the back. Spear! One, two. No! These men are resilient. They don't want to lose this match. Big hammer punch again. McFly back up. Oh! Torres pulling a maneuver out of McFly's book. Goes for that cutter. Doesn't get it. Basement drop kick. Doesn't get it. Oh! Big wheelbarrow bulldog. Uh oh, McFly says this is it. He's taunting for all the fans. Turns Torres around. Headlock driver for the match. One, two, three, and here is your winner, McFly. Wow, Torres comes up short again. And we're back with the second match of the night. We're about to see what uh, possibly a once in a lifetime matchup. We're about to see Lucifer Ponce go up against Freak. And honestly, if I had to make a decision now, I, I think I gotta go with Freak.
Spears. Weighing in at 269 pounds. My apologies. Lucifer Ponce was exposed for being one of the new era members. But you know, people failed to show. Guys, we have triple threat action coming up as three of WWE. That's kind of what's happening now with the roster. We don't know what's going on exactly. Everybody's trying to stay safe, and I respect it. Lucifer Ponce, Kai Vacho. They were both the members. And if you don't know, Kaiva Vacho is now on NXG. Smart decision by Kaiva. James Stevenson only makes big money moves. <laughs> oh my god, Lucifer. Ponce ready for his opponent for the night, Freak. Freak hasn't been having the best of luck lately. And from the pits of hell, weighing in at 295 pounds. <laughs> Freak's been kind of on a losing streak, I believe. But that's none of my business, to be honest. Freak making his entrance and both of these men taking their precious time to get to the ring. Like, come on guys, the summer brawl has some enthusiasm in you. Like just sitting here watching you guys, that's that's not fun. And now are you about to wow. Look at you both thinking it's cool to bring fire out of the out of the ring posts and stuff. You know, you can bring fire out of the ring post, but you can't bring the fire out of your opponent. Alright, Freak. Ponce. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't really care. Ding, 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 gloom. Do, do, do you listen? I, I said, there we go. Freak starting off with a shoulder tackle. Just going off on Lucifer. Ponce counts the freak with a big back body drop. Eight second ride from Lucifer. Followed by a nice tilt a whirl girl. Oh, tilt a whirl gourd buster. Freak moves all the way and hits a huge big boot. Ponce got hung on the rope for a second. Alright, whip over the top rope. Free King is on. Ponce grabs him by the skull. It just clubs him straight down to the mat. I'm gonna call it Lucifer's Lucifer already ready to pawn. Let me stop. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Big drop kick to the back. Stomp. Freak gets double foot stomped. And finally catches the leg. Hits a leg. Oh wait, that was a dragon screw. You would think that since it's pre-recorded, my commentary would be perfect. But no. That's not how it works. If I mess up, I mess up. You know? Sometimes that's just how life is. Kick in the gut from Ponce. Oh no. He has him. And the Iron Claw Slam. I don't know what he calls that move, but he's not done. Ponce is ready. Kick in the gut. I don't know what he calls that. Just Fireball. One. You know. 
Maybe these guys should understand that I haven't been around long. I don't even know who some of you are. So maybe you should give me a helping hand and tell me some move names. Pawns, diving foot stomp, freak misses twice. Freak is not on his A game. He, he needs to take some time off, figure out what's going on with himself. Maybe take off the mask, show who you really are. Because right now, this is embarrassing to watch. Drop kick from Ponce. Countered by the Freak. Uh oh. And now Freak pops. Ponce with a Freak accident. One. Two. Uh oh. Now he's getting ready. Maybe the Freak I know is about to come out. Kick in the back. Ponce ate it. Goes for a dummy knee strike. Misses. Back elbow. A second. Freak finally releases his grip. Goes for a backstab or something. Oh, big Scottish sickle. Freak has Ponce in his grasp. Stomps. Third. Picks him up. What now? Oh, punch. Back elbow. Jumping knee misses again. Drop kick misses. Freak now. Has him up. And his own version of Brian Howard's breakneck onto Lucifer. Oh no. Freak thinking about it again. Just tosses pawns halfway across the ring. He's making a statement here. Big counter from Ponce. Look at that a second. Uh oh. Here it is again. The Iron Claw Slam. Pinfall. One. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Kick out by the freak. Snapmare. Double foot stomp. Oh no. He's caught. Freak transitions it into a nice power bomb. Oh no. Freak now starting with these rapid gut punches. And he went for the devil's right hand. But came up short. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create Ponce just jumped over. Freak shoulder tackle. Didn't even know that was possible. Oh no kick. Here we go. Lucifer hits on what the Big sit out power bomb one, two, and freak kicks out just barely. Oh no, Lucifer going up top. Double foot stomp doesn't connect. Big boot and drops him down. Boss right back down. And another freak accident connects. Uh oh, here we go. Devil's right hand connects. One, two, kick out by the. Wait, kick out by Ponce. I was about to say kick out by Freak, but why? Uh oh, tossed into the corner. Oh, Ponce gets tossed. And big booted back down to the mat. We've seen it on so many occasions, Corey, as superstar as all right, whip all reversal into the corner. Double knees doesn't connect. Close on drops them. Uh oh, this is the freak's chance. Freak just staring at our Woodsy. Lucifer paused before hitting the devil's right hand. That is the match. One, two. One freaks angry. 
Freaks upset. Oh no, another counter. Pots. A superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by With the opponents. fisherman suplex from the middle rope. And now backing it up. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I like to call Lucifer's Pounce. You get it? Because Lucifer Pounce, and you got to you, you know what? It, it doesn't matter. One, two, three. And here is your winner, Lucifer Pounce, picking up the victory tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for women's action. Starting us off, we have Melissa Moore. And you know what they say? I don't know what they say. That's why I asked. Please tell me more. Okay, uh, it's clear that I need to stop with these horrible jokes. Because clearly, if you don't remember tonight, I have to fight Chad. Well, not tonight. This is just night one. Told you there are multiple nights for this pay per view. First time ever. I told you. James Stevenson, big money moves. Um. Tonight. Well. In the next couple of days, I'm going to have to face Chad and Derek in a triple third match. It's gonna be something. But introducing next after Melissa, we have Miss Poison Ivy Danger. Ivy heard Melissa Moore saying behind her back that she looked like an entire dude. Melissa Moore said that Ivy Danger was more of a male than she was a female. And Ivy clearly not taking too lightly to that. Moore not even looking at Ivy. Ivy has her head down over in that corner. Wonder what she's doing over there. Introducing next, she made her return last week. Pinning Sarah Watson. It is the total package, Caitlin Marie. And if you don't know, Caitlin's been gone. Not an entire nine months. You see, she wrestled three months pregnant. And um, I see, see, it's it's like something that happened in real life but I'm not gonna say anything about it if you're a wrestling fan you should know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about but Caitlyn wrestled pregnant and once Cam found out she had to vacate her title and now she has twins one baby girl one baby boy Caitlyn I mean Carter and Kaylee and oh my, making her return with a new look, question mark. This is Elizabeth Quinn. Elizabeth Quinn coming out tonight looking like she's been through some wars in her days. It's, it's interesting, to be honest. To get underway. And at the risk of sounding impulsive, I wonder what happened to her eye. Makings of being a match of the year candidate. Did she get stabbed or something? And from Long Island, New either way, Elizabeth Quinn ready for action. Mary, 
You, you. Ring the bell. Here we go. Melissa Moore starts off with a nice hurricane run on Arn to Caitlyn. Ivy Danger hit a hot shot. Melissa Moore tried to take advantage. Failed. Caitlyn and Melissa lock up. Elizabeth with a nice back elbow. Counter. After counter with Caitlyn and Melissa. Big hip. Oh, wait, that was a judo throw from Ivy Danger. Caitlyn now gets arm wrench and then drops toe hold it. What is this? More. Hits a atomic drop. Big hammer punch from Elizabeth. Now she gets arm swift into the corner, bounces out. And judo tossed again. While Melissa Moore has Caitlyn Marie. And hits her with a nice knee drop. What a nice suplex stunner from Ivy Danger onto Elizabeth. And a shooting star press. Melissa just tosses Caitlyn. Caitlyn kicks in the gut. Oh, big Hurricane run up. Whatever Ivy, I mean, whatever Elizabeth had in store, Ivy countered that. And a Pele kick from Danger. What's going on in the ring, Caitlin? Runs in the ring just to jump right back out and celebrates. But Moore's right back up. How is that even possible? Russian leg sweep. Caitlin saying, get up now. While Elizabeth Quinn and Ivy Danger are in the ring, neck breaker from Elizabeth. Ivy down. And now Kayla gets hit with an exploder going up the ramp. Into the ring we go. Can't see what's going on now. I don't have a clue what happened. Cameraman's doing an incredibly bad job. Oh. Interesting maneuver. That was a very important text message. I was, you know, big money moves. Ivy hits that unprettier pinfall one. Broken up by Kate. Caitlin's running at her, goes for it. something and gets caught with a Pele kick. Back up and gets caught with another. Kayla Marie gets caught. Leg DDT. Kate rolls out. The Pater connects. And the Rainmaker DDT connects following. How is Elizabeth Quinn up to break that up? Uh oh. Nice fisherman suplex from Ivy Danger. Now with complete control. Kaylin getting back to her feet. Ivy posing in front of Elizabeth Quinn for some odd reason. Oh my goodness, what a rainbow cutter! And Caitlyn takes out Ivy. And slaps Melissa. She drops the ladder on top of Moore. Moore starting to get up though. Jumping knee strike counter. Drop kick counter. Caitlyn with a nice back suplex. It's clear that I like the word nice today. Ivy Danger catches Caitlyn. Irish whip off the ropes. Caitlyn just bounces back and regains her composure. Quinn. What? Guess leg dropped. Caitlyn roundhouse kick from. Oh no. Big belly to belly from Quinn for the match. One kick out. Caitlyn hits another Hurricane Rana spiking Elizabeth's head into that ladder. Uh oh, Ivy. He is hit with that wheelbarrow stunner by Melissa. Melissa now 
Slapped again. Elizabeth Quinn back in the ring. Oh no. Quinn is in trouble. One nice stand onto the ladder from Marie. She's pinning. Hoping that could be the match. One. Ivy Danger right there to stop everything she had planned though. Goes for a famous center. Gets power bombed on top of Elizabeth Quinn. Marie rolling out. Big boot caught. Danger. Iris whips her into the corner. Back elbow. And a body slam onto the ladder. Now Ivy rolls out. Forearm smash. Oh, the roundhouse kick was caught. Oh, another drop toe hold takes down Caitlyn. Stomp. Stomp. Oh, possibly was thinking about that hater or that jumping complete shot. Elizabeth Quinn's ankle gets grabbed. Oh, Ivy with a nice sense on. I said nice again. I have to stop. Hip toss, knee strike, and Caitlyn just bolts through. Oh, and gets shoulder tackled as well. Oh, no. Caitlyn's just stuck there. Shoulder tackle. A second. Caitlyn tosses her over the top. Takes a breather. Both Ivy and Elizabeth just in here watching. Tries to bicycle kick her. Double axe hander from Melissa. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Caitlin down. Oh, big knee strike. Uh oh. Big headbutt from Melissa and a stun gun. Uh oh. Inverted DDT from Danger. Oh no! Poison Rana from Ivy Danger onto Caitlyn Marie. Oh no. Broken up. Jumping knee countered. Forearm smash takes out Kate. Oh no. A second Rainmaker DDT connects. One. I think two. Three. The pinfall and the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Hey, you know what time it is. It's now time for the Austin McIntyre Open Challenge. Last night, McIntyre victorious over, or not last night, actually, Wednesday night, McIntyre victorious over Luther Butler in his return match. And honestly, I thought Luther Butler had that match won. McIntyre literally got zero to no offense in that matchup, and he pulled out a beauty shot at the end. He had to use his speed. And picked up the victory. But who's going to answer the open challenge tonight is the true question. Because I wouldn't, if I was McIntyre, I wouldn't do it tonight. You're not 100%. But the damage was done last night while I was being sabotaged on NXG. So the question is, who accepts the open Challenge. McIntyre. Wait. Wait. It can't be. Oh my god. He's back. It's none other than chaos. Chaos hasn't been seen in months. 
chaos dropping cryptic messages and all of these things but nobody truly knew what they meant and to this day they still don't chaos is the only man with the answers chaos seems ready back to get into this ring win championships destroy chaos maybe even more twisted than before <sighs> Austin McIntyre may have been off a little bit more than he can chew The bell rung McIntyre. Just stood the chaos takes advantage back suplex. Follow well, you know, the chaotic suplexes. I'm not gonna call everything out. Signal maneuver. Sprite. The chaos now bring away on Austin McIntyre you know if you heard me say Sprite and you made it this far or you're saying this well we're like DDT from Chaos picks up both legs of AMAC and stomps directly and walks over McIntyre can't get into this match spoke takes down Backs away. McIntyre. Chaos closes on him out of the ring. Chaos right on this trail, following right behind him. All right, slipping to the barricade. And a big Pele kick. McIntyre. Now he's taunting. He's gonna have to stay on top of Chaos. He's walking away. He's not trying to stay on. Top. After the crowd, he connects into the barricade. We go again for chaos. McIntyre point says, This face is not yours. You can't mess it up. Oh, chaos now with a moonlight drive, and he taunts back. And now, again, he's going off with these strikes. What's going on with chaos? We're used to the flips and everything. This chaos is different. I right, slip into the barricade. And then a back suplex onto the barricade. Uh oh, soul kick, kip up. Wait, it was no soul kick. It was a schoolboy. Chaos has those steps. Tosses them in the ring. McIntyre starting to crawl away. Chaos has that ladder now. McIntyre tried to do, get some offense and gets hit with a tilt a world DDT. Austin, oh no, toss into the barricade. Chaos is on a mission. Spear through the barricade. And he does a ton, and the fans do it with him. Who would have thought? Okay, I was just tossing McIntyre to across the outside area. Has him now in a cradle position and just slams him onto the barricade. McIntyre down. 
tosses the announce table cover on him, taking out all the monitors. McIntyre seems like he's starting to get to his feet. Chaos picks him up. Oh no, shoulder carry position. And now what? Just slamming Austin right off the announce table. Steps in hand now, drops him. What does he got in plan? Well, in mind now. Fire and scary. What does he want to do? Oh, picks him up. Power bomb onto the steel steps. This match has been all chaos. If it is, if you even consider this a matchup. Big Hurricane Rana. Uh oh, Chaos has him for the TKO. The Chaotic Fate from the Fire Mascara position. Whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Bounces Austin off the announce table again. Now what? Sets him on the announce table. Both men up. What does Chaos got in mind? Picks him up for the chaotic fate through the table. I have no clue what's going on. Cameraman do a better job. McIntyre seems like he's getting back to his feet. McIntyre just standing still. Chaos slides under the bottom rope. And now he has McIntyre for a nice vertical suplex. Kick. Oh no. Another powerbomb. Possibly. Powerbomb onto the apron and whips him around into the ring skirt. Yeah, that's not with a kendo stick. McIntyre gets hit once, twice, a third, a fourth. Oh, McIntyre finally gets chaos off of him. Big forearm smash and a kip up. This may be what McIntyre needs. It's clear McIntyre is not taking chaos serious. After punch, after punch, chaos is unhinged. Into the ring. Chaos has that kendo stick again. Whack. 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 Now what? Going out to that table he set up earlier that I didn't know about. And he just lit it on fire. What's up? Happen? Spike on a counter. Austin catches the foot. And a nice reverse heel pick. And look at him. Takes time to pose. He's not taking chaos seriously. I don't know what that was, but it was effective. Over the top goes Chaos. Austin now taunting. Chaos. <gasps> God, what a roundhouse kick by McIntyre. And McIntyre didn't even attempt to take advantage off of it. Now, imagine what's going on. If Austin can catch you with a roundhouse kick while you're going for, for a, a chaotic forearm. McIntyre goes straight to my fucking table. That's chaos. What a barrel auto base takes out. Back into the ring. 
Austin slides in. Back elbow. Slides under. Schoolboy. Kip up. Again. Oh my god, Chaos trying to choke out McIntyre in the corner. Jeff Jeff, do something about it. Austin likes it. Who knows? Chaos. Uh oh. Power bomb, no. McIntyre strikes to the head. Makes Chaos lose his grip. McIntyre. Avada Kadrava. Goes for the pinfall. Not even a one count. And just like that, Chaos is right back to his feet. McIntyre stomps Chaos after he attempted another barrel roll tope. And now, he headbutted something. I have no clue. Chaos was blocked by the barricade. McIntyre over here walking on the ladder. Possibly wanting to pick it up. But his body may be too damaged. may be too weak. McIntyre just decides it's going to get on the apron. And attempt a missile dropkick. Not even close. Chaos again. Vertical suplex. And Chaos goes to the outside. Picks up the ladder. This has just been a mauling of Austin McIntyre. Poison Rana onto the ladder. McIntyre's hurt. Oh no, a crossbody now needs repeated strikes to the head while McIntyre's head was laying on that ladder. Chaos, what is he thinking? He crashes and burns going for that swanton bomb. But he gets right back up. Oh no, Chaos has a chair. Oh my goodness, the chair and the the ladder sandwiching Austin McIntyre. Chaos flips him over. Austin slowly slid off. Oh, he ducks it. Misses that chair strike. Austin ducks that one. Oh my. Can he pull off the upset? One, two, three. Why isn't he pinning off the omelet? What is going on? McIntyre not even attempting a pinfall. And now he gets caught again with the chaotic suplexes. McIntyre. It's just, it's like he's not even here right now. Oh no. He's caught with the chaos bomb. Right onto the ladder. And a shooting star press follows. Oh my gosh. McIntyre. Oh no. Chaos, what are you doing? Austin's neck is in there. And Chaos stomps on the chair. Up to writhing in pain. But now, big roundhouse took out the knee. Austin with a back elbow. He can't climb the ladder. He can't escape. He's trying to throw strikes. Now Chaos goes up top. Austin still trying. Can't do it. He's he something's wrong. He knocks Chaos down. He attempts it again. He's, he just leaves the ring. But he's back. Still trying to punch the ladder mate, let him climb. Oh no, Chaos has that kendo again. Chaos leaves the ring. What is going on? Austin still throwing these strikes. He slaps Chaos, the ladder falls. Maybe that's what Austin needed. 
What is McIntyre got in mind now? Gets Irish Whip countered into a nice Hurricane Rana. Here we go again with nice. Oh no. McIntyre gets caught by Chaos with a spike Rana. Lays perfectly onto the ladder for Chaos. But McIntyre says no. And he gets hit with the steel steps. Lay it out again. McIntyre still trying to get back to his feet though. Gets hit with a diving brain chop. Laid out again. McIntyre gets caught with a swanton onto the ladder. McIntyre not moving. Chaos says this is it. Oh, the Emperor's Kiss connects. One, two, three. And that is the match. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up Summer Brawl Night 1. We hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you come back tomorrow for Night 2. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and get ready for the NXG TakeOver.